This is incredible. Welcome back to DBL. First off, a mission to find a ship that disappeared more than 100 years ago has come to an end, and some are comparing the discovery to the Titanic. So here is the remarkable footage of the Endurance. Oh! Okay, sorry. <laughs> Sir Ernest Shackleton ship, I know all about this. This is insane. Just look how well preserved it is. You can actually see much more of this wreckage at natgeo.com. Someone said it was the best preserved ship they've ever seen. So let me just give you a little story here. In 1915, Shackleton set out to be the first to cross Antarctica, but his ship did not make it to land and sank after months of being trapped in the ice and the crew was rescued. So I just wanna let you guys know, after it got stuck, Shackleton said, all right, we're gonna move, and the ship sunk. They walked off to the ice and had to follow one of the greatest survival stories in history. The crew all went and found another group of islands where they stayed for over two, three, four months while Shackleton rowed with basic oars over 80 miles to another place, a shipping station, and then realized he came to the wrong spot, climbed over mountains that no human had ever trekked. By the way, he gave his gloves away to his first mate and the whole time getting frostbite. Finds the, the shipping station, takes one, no, doesn't work, two, no, the third boat finally makes it to the Elephant Island and rescues all of his crew. Here is the famous quote, they say, if you want scientific method, you go for Scott. Admondson, another explorer, for speed and efficiency. But when disaster strikes and all hope is gone, you get down on your knees and you pray for Shackleton. Uh, uh, wow. I I feel like you're missing your calling as like reading kids books at the library. <laughs> like I was I was like really into that. It's but an incredible story. Why have I not survival. heard that story? And his ship was found only four miles from when they had last placed it. Frank Worsley, I believe, or Fred Worsley, was the photographer and took gorgeous shots of Shackleton. And what he did, Shackleton, their books about his leadership skills. Because what he did is on all that ice when nothing was going on, he'd have sing alongs. He made soccer matches. He carried on with optimism and joy that has lasted for years and years. So people teach seminars on how to be a leader, like Sir Ernest. Shackleton. He died at 47 and lived an incredible life, and I'm so glad on the 100th anniversary they found the endurance. Well, speaking of endurance, bravo. <laughs> yeah, I mean the passion, that the passion. Like, bravo. Bravo. I feel like I learned something it's today. A, one of the greatest survival stories of all time. So it's a really- Why has there not been a movie? I would think that there should be, now that they found it. And it was a 10 million anonymous donor who asked for this to be found, and people th said it's the best preserved ship they've ever seen. Is it because of the cold water? Yeah, a lot of it is the cold water. And uh, they said as soon as the lights went up, they could see the word endurance and the star that they had put on it, like glinting off the light. Was that the bow they had sing-alongs on? Yeah. Mm. And you can see Ernest Shackleton's porthole through it. So I suggest you all go to natgeo.com and also follow the story. His ancestors have tried to continue it. He's an incredible explorer, an Irishman who got all these medals for doing what he did and saving every single one of his crew. It's amazing. amazing. Well, if Tori's not here tomorrow, she's been picked up by <laughs> Nat Geo. <laughs>